Welcome guys to the easy is, easy in and easy out and how to use them in practical in motion graphics in After Effects. Let me give you an example how we are going to work. Here we have a simple animation where the circle goes up and down if you like. It's on a path and this path is totally linear, spatial and temporal. Let's go to the graph here. You notice how it is. You start at a certain speed and it's constant until the next keyframe. Here it is. Okay, this is the keyframe. Then the speeds drop and then constant speed, then it drops. Cool. But you know, when you start a motion, you don't start a motion at a constant speed. First, you start at a slow speed, then pick up speed, right? Fine. So let's select this keyframe and let's apply this concept starting at a slow speed, then picking up. What you use here is what we call the easy is out, meaning you are easing out of a keyframe. So you're moving slowly from a keyframe, then you pick up speed. If I click on it, notice what happened to the graph. It starts at speed zero, the speed picks up and then slows down to come to a certain speed where it starts from the second keyframe. You can see this through the frames here. Okay, you have very many frames, slow speed. This is the one okay then it comes over here cool now also when it gets to the last frame it just makes sense that the speed slows down before it stops for this you are easing into this keyframe or you are applying an easy ease in just over here okay this is easy ease in if you click notice what happened now from the previous keyframe just above here it picks up some speed then the speed starts going down and slowly goes to a halt. This motion is much nicer than, you know, the regular linear motion. But still we have a problem here. If you look at this keyframe, it comes at a certain speed. That's the incoming speed on the left and that's the outgoing speed. So really that's not what you want. You really want it to come to a stop. For this, you select the keyframe and you apply an easy in, that's one then an easy is cool so now you have a very nice graph where the speed is very much you know normal you have an easy is here and an is in here so is out is is and is in cool now let's take them all and return them to linear so like nothing happened like before now I will select the, all the keyframes here. And instead of going easy in, easy out, and so on, by selecting all the keyframes, I'll just press on the easy ease. Here you are. And the graph is done. Cool. Right? So now this is practical, this is practical use. But uh, you can come over and start playing with the graph the way you want. Let's select the first keyframe and let's uh, take the handle here and move it to the right. Here you are. So notice what's happening. It's going to come at a slow speed, pick up a lot of speed, then die out slowly. Nice, not bad. You can also do it from this side, just like this. So this is nice. It goes up, down. So it starts with a slow speed, nil almost, and picks up and goes down. You can do it that way, for example. I will select the left one and I push it here. Notice now it starts at a high speed and it slows down. This is a very nice animation, mainly for text. You can do the same from this side and just go like this. Here you are. Notice the speeds are not equal. So let's adjust this guy over here. Here you are. And it goes down. If you want to reset them very well, let's go back to easy ease. So this is the concept and this is how we work. Now let's put them back to linear, just linear and go back normally. How do you work from here? Let's select the first keyframe, right click, go to keyframe assistant this time, not keyframe interpolation, and from keyframe assistant, go easy is out. Okay, you're going out of a keyframe. Here you are. Look at the graph. Okay. Now, if you go to the last keyframe, you right click and you say keyframe assistant, easy is in. It's shift and nine and then control shift and nine. Okay, here you are, you applied it. In the middle one, you can now right click and of course instead of going easy in easy out you go easy is look at the graph now it's very nice it has become a very nice animation and the speed is pretty cool
Now, if you notice in the graph, the keyframes are Bezier and not continuous Bezier. If I move it up, you have two speeds, the incoming speed and the outgoing speed. So really you can make your animation to look the way you would like. For example, here you are stops fast and comes out. Cool guys. So normally what we are going to use is very easy. Let's uh, select all of them, make them linear, come over here and we select all our keyframes and simply we press F9 to apply easy ease. We come to the graph over here and we start playing with the speed and decide, okay, this one, I want it over here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fine. Now, we have done this for a ball. Let's be practical and do it for some text. Let's do it for a title. Let's take the text tool and type here, title here. Okay, now we want the title to come from the outside. Okay. So, we open the position P. We keyframe it, for example, at one second if you like. I'll keyframe it and let's see after just two seconds or less even you move it to the other side okay let's move it to the middle right now if you notice the animation is linear right same speed cool you select both keyframes here you are and then press F9 now they are easy eased do you notice the animation is nicer come to the graph here okay I don't like it like this let's do it like this and you see the title is settling very nicely. You can also click and drag the keyframe to give it more time. And the title is really getting quite cool here. Now, after some seconds here, you want to remove the title. So let's put a keyframe over here and then move a bit and then take the title out the other direction. Okay, it just makes sense that you take both of them. We press F9, here you are. And we take the out speed and just make it over it like this. Something like this will work. Okay. And then let's play our animation. Look what's happening. It setters. And it comes out and speeds out. This is very nice. Now, usually you will select all of them just like this and press F9. Go to the graph. Look, you have it done for you. You come over here. You stretch this one, for example, this way. And this one, you stretch it this way, so you have these kind of speeds. Cool, guys. This is pretty nice. We are still in the theory. Later on, we are going to take our previous animations and apply easy is and easy in and easy out. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next lecture.